Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be making a button combination lock. We've made an item frame combination lock before in episode 64. Might have to revisit that. It's pretty old. I bet it can be done better. Uh, but this one, like many of the recent ones, has been a suggestion from Gal Sergi I've seen when he's been helping someone on Minecraft Commands Reddit forum. I tell you, if you go onto that forum and you see them there, I'll put a link in the description. If you see Gal Sergi helping people, upvote his comments because it's so helpful. <laughs> he really is so helpful. Let's uh, crack on. Objectives. We're going to need a dummy objective. So we'll call it scoreboard. Objectives. Add. We're going to call it password. And it's going to be a dummy. Okay. Uh, don't forget to press the button. There we go. Obviously, we could just type that in chat if you wanted to. Uh, I'm going to get myself a bit of grey wool and a comparator. And I'm going to put the grey wool down. I'm going to make a little wall of wool. A wool wall. Okay, this is going to be my keypad. You can put these anywhere you like. Spread them around the room if you want. It's not a problem. Four. Okay, so we're going to... We've got four numbers they can choose from. I'm just going to do a four-digit code. You can do as many as you like. You can do 4,000 if you want. It's just going to take them a long time to put the code in. They might hate you. Right, so if they press button one, we are going to data modify storage and we need a name for our storage i'm going to call it door password makes sense uh, we are going to input and we're going to append so we're going to add it to the end append the value of one okay so when they press that button we add one so if they pressed it now there's nothing in there it will say one if you press it again it will say one one we press it again yeah it'll say one 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 right control middle mouse boom 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 if they press button two we'll add a two and button three a three and i think you can guess what the four will do it will add a four yeah but i also want to keep track of how long the password is that they've entered and we're going to use this objective again so we are going to scoreboard players um we will add and we'll have a fake player i'm going to call him length this makes it really easy to read so we're going to add one to the password length each time they press a button okay control middle mouse to copy all that bump, bump, bump. whichever button they press we add a number to storage so we don't replace numbers we add a number to storage and then we increase the password length okay let's make a controller I'm going to use a lever like I always do. Of course, you can set this to always active if you want. It's going to be repeating. It is my controller. And we're going to put a little comparator there. Bump. And what we're going to do in here is we're going to say execute if score. Hmm. If score. Length password remember length is the fake player name matches and this is how long you want your password to be I'm just gonna have a four digit password okay so now that's on if we press these buttons four times the comparator is gonna come on and it's gonna power something it's gonna power this what we're gonna do here is we're gonna check the password so we're gonna execute store the success into a score for the fake player wrong we'll, we'll use the password objective again no point making another one run so if the command we're about to type is unsuccessful then wrong password will equal zero okay if it's successful wrong password will equal one so in this way we can check if they've got the password wrong so what we'll do is we'll data modify storage door password input set value and this is your password that you want i'm going to keep it simple one two three four okay so we're trying to input those four numbers into our door password storage if those numbers already exist 
it's going to be unsuccessful. That means it matches. So if it matches, it'll just say, oh, there's no point in me doing this. So this command is unsuccessful, therefore wrong password must equal zero. If they don't match, if the password is wrong, then this command will be successful and wrong password will be set to one. Okay, done. Let's do a little bit more stuff. We want to start tidying up now. So we will have to reset. Let's uh, reset uh, the password length. So reset fake player length, reset their, their password value, done. And we will also reset the, the uh, password we've put into storage. So we will data remove from storage. Let's try and keep that separate. There we go. Data from remove from storage. We called it door password input. Okay. Done. And then what should we do now? Now we should have the check. So let's go into here and execute execute if score fake player wrong password so remember this is a, a one if the password is wrong so if this matches one we want to do something let's run uh, we'll give them a message um, you could blow them up or something if you wanted to I'm just going to give them a message I'm going to do a tell raw tell raw uh, for demonstration I'm just going to use uh, at p that'll do and let's put a little bit of tell raw in here it will be text and simply i'm just going to put wrong password exclamation mark okay let's copy all of that in fact we just do it the easy way we'll press done we'll control middle mouse put it down there we go but if the password matches zero or if wrong password matches zero, remember that's wrong password. So the password is correct. We will say correct password. Okay. And we'll control middle mouse that. And we'll put this down here and we'll have an extra command. So if it equals zero, let's open a door. In fact, let's just do We'll, we'll just put door open. We'll just say door open. You can put any command here you want after the run bit. We'll put door open. Double exclamation marks. Oh, I'm very excited. There we go. Okay, let's give it a go and see what's happening. This is on. So let's check data get storage. Nothing is suggested for me. Okay, press one. Data get storage ah door password okay tab to fill that in we've got a one in there okay let's put uh, a three let's do the order wrong data get storage we've got one three one three four one three two should activate this wrong password and everything should reset so this is back off okay let's check our data storage data get from storage that's gone again okay let's put in the right password one two three four correct password door open perfect so if you want to change the length of the password we want to be looking in here so mine is currently set to four let's set it to three done but then we have to go to this block and we'll actually have to change the password here as well. So I've got three numbers, it's a length of three. Let's try that and see if that works. One, two, four, wrong password. One, two, three, correct password, door open. Excellent, okay, there we go. There is a nice little sort of self-resetting uh, combination lock for buttons. Can have fun putting that in your map and thank you again for gal sergi helping all those people on minecraft commands reddit 
forum. That's it. Put a link in the description down there so you can go and check the forum out for yourselves. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.